Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about PPE, which stands for Personal Protective Equipment. Now, these are things that you should carry with you to help protect you from the elements. Uh, when I go camping and I'm in the woods, these are things that I almost always bring with me. I always use them. And so when I have them, I'm always glad that I have them. When I don't have them, I wish I did. And the first thing I wanna talk about is gloves. Now, I like the Leather Mechanics gloves. Uh, they help tremendously when you're dealing with something hot. So if I'm going to take a hot pot or pan off the fire or the stove, these will prevent me from getting burnt. Uh, if I'm dealing with hot logs, I can grab a hot log without having to worry about getting burnt. So I really like the leather gloves. Uh, the other advantage to having a good set of gloves is you can collect firewood and you don't have to worry about sticks and branches poking into your hand. One of the things that I hate the most is when you're collecting firewood and you got the little twigs and one of them goes underneath and stabs under your fingernail. I hate that. And uh, having a good pair of gloves can prevent that from happening. Another thing is it improves your grip. So if you're sawing or using your ax or knife, it will improve your grip and allow you to have more control over whatever it is you're doing. And so there's a lot of advantages to having a good set of gloves. Again, I like the leather ones, but if you're gonna use regular mechanics gloves, these work really well. I like using these ones around the house, but they will melt. So if you touch something hot, they'll melt. I have a pair here where the, uh, yeah, the finger, I touched something hot and the fingertip melted to my finger. And then over here, it was hot too. And then that melted to my finger and the glove itself melted to my finger, just kept burning me. And so keep that in mind, understand the limitations of your gloves. Now, a lot of people like these cut resistant gloves. Again, these work really well. They improve your grip. They help collect firewood and make sure that nothing pokes you or scratches you. Uh, these are really nice gloves, but again, you're not gonna be touching anything hot with these. Uh, another thing that I wanted to mention, I like these wristies. So at, well, during the fall and the spring, it can get cold. Even in the summer at night, it can get kind of cold. This is just an easy way to keep your hands warm. They're actually made for people that play violin and string instruments so that they can feel the strings. But because they're so minimal, they you can put on a normal pair of gloves over the top of them real easy. And so the wristies keep your hand warm. When your wrist is warm, your hand is warm. And so with these, I can easily put on a pair of gloves over the top. So even these, these are tight fitting gloves. I can put these on because the wristies are so minimal, even these fit and I can still do work and I can still feel everything just like I would if I just had the gloves on themselves. So I really like these wristies and I wanted to mention them because I don't hear a lot of people talking about them so I wanted to share that with you. I will leave links in the description box down below. Those are affiliate links. They help me at no extra cost to you but it's just so that you guys can get an understanding of what this is and you can find what it is I'm talking about. Uh, next is footwear. So I like boots. Okay, I'm not going to suggest everyone needs boots but I like boots. Having a good pair of boots or shoes or footwear is really important. I like the ankle support. Uh, I don't like rolling my ankle, spraining your ankle. It can really ruin a trip. It can really ruin everything. Uh, even though a lot of people are like, oh, I'm just gonna sit around the fire. I'm not gonna really be moving much. Usually if you're at a campground, the bathroom is quite a ways away, the porta potty, wherever it is that you have to go to the bathroom. Usually it's a hike to get there. And if your ankle hurts and it's swollen and you don't wanna move much, it's gonna be hard doing simple tasks like getting firewood, uh, going to the bathroom, you know what I mean? And so having a good pair of boots or shoes is gonna prevent you from dealing with those kind of injuries. And again, you don't wanna deal with branches and rocks and everything. So uh, flip-flops, you usually don't wanna wear flip-flops because a rock will get in there and then you step on that sharp rock. Uh, sandals in general, I don't really like wearing sandals in general because again, rocks and dirt and sand get inside of them and they make your feet really uncomfortable. I like having shoes or boots. 
Uh, next is bug spray and sunblock. Now I did a video all about bug spray and how I use bug protection. I will link that in the description box down below as well. And then sunblock. Make sure you bring plenty of sunblock. I know this is a little thing, but this is just for me personally. And this is something that you're going to constantly be reply, reapplying. Uh, you're going to go swimming, you're going to have to reapply it. Uh, if you're sweating a lot, you're going to have to reapply it. Uh, sunburn sucks. Okay. And the worst part about sunburn isn't getting it. Usually if you get it, yeah, it sucks. It kind of hurts. But then spending the whole next day in the hot sun with sunburn, that's when it gets miserable. Okay. And so being able to use sunblock, reapply it, make sure that you have enough so that you don't end up fully sunburned and then having to live with the sunburn on another hot sunny day is really important. Again, the bugs, you don't want the bugs driving you crazy. And so having bug spray and sunblock, very important. Uh, next is a hat. I always wear a hat. It keeps the sun out of my face. It keeps the bugs out of my hair. Uh, it keeps the sun from burning the top of my head. Some people like the brims that go all the way around because it keeps the sun off the back of their neck. I like the brim that goes all the way around when I'm using a head net. Because when I'm using a head net without a hat, the net tickles my ears and the back of my neck and I'm not a very big fan of that. But also the bugs will chew through it. They don't chew through it, but they'll bite through the mesh. So if it's touching you, they can still bite you. So if the brim goes all the way around and creates space, the bugs don't have access to your face and your neck and everything. And so if I'm using a bug net, I'll put this on and I'll combo these together. But I always, if you've been watching my channel, you know I always wear a hat. And so having a good hat is important to me at least. Uh, another thing is eye protection. So sunglasses, uh, safety glasses. The thing that I like about safety glasses is when I'm going through thick brush. Okay, if the woods are just thick and there's branches, I like putting my safety glasses on so I can just trek through and I don't have to worry about a stick hitting me in my eye as I'm trudging through the woods. And so if I'm going to be going through thick brush, I bring clear safety glasses because even when it's sunny, when you're in that thick brush, it gets dark, right? The canopy and all the leaves and everything kind of block the sun. And so having a clear pair of glasses, even if it's going to be mid-afternoon, is really important to me anyway because, again, I can accomplish those things. Uh, if I'm going to be chopping wood, putting the safety glasses on, uh, there is a video of me reviewing the Vengeful One, and I'm chopping a piece of wood, and a piece flies up and hits me in the face. And luckily it didn't hit me in the eye, but I should have been wearing safety glasses to prevent that from even being a possibility. And so there's a lot of advantages to wearing sunglasses and safety glasses. And so that's something that I don't carry with me as much as I should, but I really should start carrying them more often and definitely using them a lot more often. Uh, next is a rain poncho or a rain jacket, rain pants, uh, rain gear in general. Uh, a lot of people, they get to camp and they're like, if it rains, I'm just going to spend the whole day in my tent anyway. Again, yeah, you're going to spend the whole day in your tent, but eventually you're going to have to go to the bathroom. And you're not going to go to the bathroom inside your tent. You're going to have to leave your tent to go use the bathroom. You're going to have to make dinner at some point, and so you're going to have to leave your tent to go make dinner. And so having a poncho or a rain jacket or some kind of rain gear is really important. Uh, I bring a poncho or a rain jacket with me almost every single trip. It also makes a good windbreaker. And so if you're sitting around the fire or you're sitting outside and the wind is just cutting through your clothes and it's it gets chilly, putting a rain poncho on or a rain jacket can stop that wind from stealing your body heat and making you cold. And then the last thing is a shemag. So the advantage of a shemag is, well, there's a million advantages to it, but for PPE purposes, you can wrap it around your neck, keep the bugs off your neck. You can put it over your face to keep the bugs off your face. 
You can use it to get it wet and then wrap it around your neck to help keep you cool. You can not get it wet and help keep you warm. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with a shamog or a bandana. If it's really windy and the sand's blowing around, you can put it on and it keeps the sand from hitting your face. Uh, if you compare, if you uh, add it with the glasses on those wind storms where everything's just windy and blowing everything around, you wrap a shamog around your face with a good pair of safety glasses and you'll be safe from all the elements. Uh, I have a video talking about my favorite shamog wraps. I'll link that below as well. And yeah, there's just a ton of good reasons to have a shamog or a bandana with you for personal protective, dealing with the elements. Even just like using it as a hot pad holder, you can fold this thing up a whole bunch of times and then you can grab something that's hot and it'll protect your hand. You can set hot things on it. So if you have a pot that's really hot, you can set it on here. You can use it as a napkin. You can use it to dress a wound. I mean, there's a ton of things you can do with a shamag. And so I try to always have one with me. I don't always use it, but I try to have one with me at all times. So that is my suggestions. I want you to leave your suggestions in that comment section down below. Make sure to check out those other videos where we talk about bug protection, and how to wear a shamog. And I can't wait to see you on my next video.